Why, hello there. In the background, you're going to see some footage. I'm going to cut in and out and talk in every once in a while. Um, I don't want to rattle your all's head off for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing something that I haven't done in a long time. I'm going to play around as a righty. Uh, I've been randomly throwing right-handed off and on for the past couple weeks. You know, you know, Ever since the injury, I laid off of it and really... Every time I tried to throw, I'd throw once or twice, and it would start hurting again. So I laid off of it for a while. But over the course of the past couple of weeks, when I've gotten out randomly, I've for every, let's say, 20 lefties I throw, I've been throwing a righty in there just to see how it feels. Um, this past Saturday, me and my buddies went out to Mobile, and we threw a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I was testing out some MVP plastic of my buddies because he's been bugging me to try it out and duly noted the Octane from MVT, MVP, all you MVP fans out there, that thing goes forever it, it I'll was, I was just straight up say it. it goes forever Like it just it just goes and if I didn't tell you that he would probably blast me in the comment section because he knows that I said that, it, it just goes forever awesome disc, anyway so <laughs> back to back to what I've been doing I've been throwing a little bit of righty and that day I threw a lot of righty and I started posting it, you guys know on Instagram and Facebook, if you guys follow me on there I've been posting, what do you guys think I should do I have three or four tournaments coming up in the next two month span and I'm not getting any pain on my right hand should I go into these tournaments right handed well, the overwhelming response is go into the tournament as a righty the moment I feel any discomfort, fall back on my lefty that I've been practicing. And, you know, that makes so much sense. Uh, my fiance was the, actually the first one to say that. But, of course, you know. What does she know? <laughs> but So that's what I'm going to do. i got a couple of tournaments coming up, and I'm going to go into it righty. So in my, you know, in my thought logic, I was like, let's go out here to the Oaks in Pensacola, Florida, and let's throw some righty. And I'm going to throw a lot of righty. Uh, it's it's Monday. My tournament's not till Saturday. I'm going to throw as much righty as I can. And if it starts hurting now, I know that it's going to hurt in a tournament. Because the course I'm going to is a de very demanding course. Spoiler alert. I s got out to the course at around 10 in the afternoon. And I did not leave until close to 5 that evening. I threw 72 holes and went and did field work and did some review footage. Did not hurt one bit. Woke up the next morning, did not hurt one bit. Still doesn't hurt. I'm 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 afraid to get excited, but I'm so excited and I cannot wait for Saturday. Speaking of, can't wait. Look at this Luna. Luna up the tunnel. I've been waiting a long time to throw that disc righty again. It felt good to throw that disc. It's beat in a little straighter for you guys that are Luna fans. Uh, once you hit a few trees with it, <laughs> they tend to get a little straighter. The, the stability kind of goes away a little bit, but the glide, the glide just stays. It's it's. It reminds me of when I first picked up like a Warden, and it's like you're throwing a putter, but it goes really far for a putter. This reminds me of that, but it just it feels like it goes even further. It's weird. It's it's. I can't explain it. It's almost like I'm throwing a mid. Like this Luna goes as far as my buzzes do when I just rip on it. It's it's a weird weird putter, uh, but I see why Paul would like throwing it. <laughs> so this hole, the, you see the arrow. It's like 150 feet, 200 feet to the right around this little corner. There's no real way to get there on a righty sidearm, and. In the past, I've actually thrown a really overstable left-handed shot on this hole. And this is the only hole I ever do it on, but I just randomly throw lefty here because the lefty forward penetration of that hyzer, backhand hyzer, can get you further around the corner than just about any stability of sidearm can. Because there's just, just too much stuff to get a sidearm around there. So it's kind of funny that where I would normally throw that one left-handed shot, that one out of 70-something holes... I actually went to my sidearm just because I want to stress it. I want to stress it out. And that might not be wise. Some of you guys might be going, Rob, don't you do it. You're going to hurt yourself. But I need to know the limits. And you're never going to know the limits unless you hit them. <laughs> That's my theory, at least. It might be bad. But 
Uh, hole 6, 413. Got a crystal nuke. This thing's beefcakes, guys. Now, if you get a, uh, one of these old school crystal nukes that I haven't been beat in, like this thing sat in a closet since 2012. So it's beef. Why am I throwing a beefy disc down a tunnel? Well, at the very end of this tunnel, about 360, 350 at the end of this tunnel, it needs to do a 90 degree turn to the left. Kind of an ongoing theme on this course. Actually, all the courses on this property. There's not much natural, I'm going to do an air quotes here, natural lines. It's a bunch of throw it really far that way and then hook it. <laughs> There's not really a gradual hyzer. You know, you follow me there? But, uh, hey, I threw it. I got all the way down there. It just got hung up on these palms at the end. I was pretty happy that I got a look at the basket. So go back to throwing a little righty because I said I'm not going to talk you guys the ear off, but here we are halfway through the video and I'm still talking. <laughs> it's been absolutely amazing. I have had a lot of fun learning some of the discs that are in my bag because you got to think, I've been throwing lefty for about a month, month and a half, and I've picked up discs just because of my lefty stability. Oops, lefty stability. Let's, let's reword that. Just because of my lefty arm speed. The stability of discs that I had to choose was... Uh, like, here, perfect example. This big Z Mantis. I know as a lefty that this is actually a stable disc for me. I actually don't really know how stable this disc is as a righty. So on this particular shot, I'm trying to throw a hyzer that gets around these two pine trees that are really close together right there in front of us. And once it gets around there, I need it to flip up. And I'm, and I, you can see I'm doing like double pumps, triple pumps. I'm, I'm playing the shot in my head. I throw it, and it just flips up and goes dead straight. And that's when I was like, hey, do you remember that? You have an Ace Race Mantis in your bag. It's going to be the disc that you throw for your righty. So that's a little transition that I'm going to have to get used to. Uh, you know, the disc is stable for my lefty, but not so stable for my righty. Uh, that's because my max distance for my lefty is like 380, where my max distance for my lefty is, or my max distance for my lefty is 380, but my max distance for my righty is who knows what is now. I have to relearn how to throw again. But the Mantis, it went around the corner. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, I'm actually, after this shot where I set the camera down, it's right where the Mantis landed, which kind of was upsetting. Uh, what do we got here? We got a zone in my hand. You're going to see this disc, this yellow disc, unless it is in a 20-foot pit of snakes. I, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to lose this disc, but if I somehow manage to lose this disc... I'm going to do cry a long time, but this particular crystal zone I am in love with, and I will throw it in every opportunity that I get. Forehand, backhand, sidearm roller, I'm going to throw this disc a lot. Speaking of throwing stuff a lot, on this playback, I watched that putt spit through the chains as I uh, was editing the video, and I never even noticed it when I was playing. I would have thrown it, I believe, been upset. We've already had enough of those spit throughs. Uh, this is where I try to go into old, old old Rob mode. We're going to dub it that. I can throw a hyzer flip that will slowly flex to the right and come back on this 412-foot hole. I've done it many, 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 many times. So I'm like, you know what? I'm throwing pretty good today. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. I did it. It, I don't know if you could see it. I did do it. It, it did come out, and it was it had that really slow turn. But as you can tell, I threw it right into a tree. So, not quite there yet. It's going to take some time for me to get back into that level of player. So, touch shots. This is this is actually kind of cool that I'm that I remember to film all of this. Is touch shots is the hardest part about not throwing. Even if you're consistently throwing it all, uh, touch shots, as I just barely clipped that tree. It was so beautiful, and I just barely clipped that branch. It, I should have got up and down. But uh, touch shots, it, it's like with any sport, with golf, baseball, basketball. You lose the feel, that natural feel. That There's no field work. There's nothing you know that can teach you. For example, right here, there's nothing that's going to teach you how to throw this disc 110 feet. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to feel it. And that 
is actually still there, surprisingly. It's there a lot more than I thought it was going to be. And I'm really excited. I don't know how well it's going to work out in a tournament, in a tournament scenario, but uh, here is where I'm disappointed in myself. Right here. This is 372 feet. I can't really hyzer flip anything up to the right because if you can see that wall of trees has grown out so much, it's hard to hug that right side. So what I've been doing, well, at least I did last year, is I just sidearm something down there. Just hyzer flip and sidearm something down there. And I could see it in my run up. I stopped. I stopped my reach back and I stopped being aggressive on it because I was afraid it was going to hurt. I know that I, that's exactly what I did. I was afraid it was going to hurt and I just, I laid off of it. Not so nice. Not so nice to lay off of it. But hey, you know what? I still threw it, what is this? 300 on a sawed off throw. I'm still pretty happy with that. So as the round's coming to an end, I think I did throw in my sidearm, my actual good sidearm, after I went to do field work and got warmed up. That might be coming up in a minute, but as I as this video comes to an end, this is just a quick look. I wanted to document coming back to writing and see what it was going to be like for the first first round. I wanted you guys with me. You guys are family, and you, and you guys have shown so much support of my lefty, and I hope you continue to show the support as English is hard as I go back to trying to learn writing, and I hope I, you know, I, fingers crossed I hit no pain. Silly branch. Why'd you stop my disc? And I hope you guys can come along with the journey with me, and we're going to have some fun. A lot of stuff coming out. Yes, here it is. This is after doing field work. I got my sidearm to go over 400 foot again. Bye bye, Nuke. It's been real. It's been fun. Deuces. That's an ESP Nuke, guys. They go forever. I'm going to end the video here because I told you I wasn't going to talk the whole time, but here I am still talking. I love you guys. I always remember be better than yesterday.